Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the last episode, we made this little storage room and I updated my game because now we have this Panda's Pearl and I've been playing around with it. I need another upgrade to do that later. And I got a bit of loot. Unfortunately, I did like open the crates without thinking and you might be wondering why I'm up like two or three levels it's because I've been doing uh, mountains at this point so we got quite a bit more stuff nothing to do yeah so we've got a lot of mod boxes and knowledge stars and actually wait I want to see something I mean, I think we can craft three more of these. Three more knowledge stars. Four more, sorry. Fifteen knowledge stars. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Power would be quite nice to get into, I have to say. Let's see. Oops. Because then we it's easy enough we can just do stuff but don't we have a soul? Uh, anyways, um so I would like to unlock a few more pouches at that but we can do that another time. And I think Pow is a great mod that we should start with. So today I think we're going to work on a another little base, maybe that side, or even in our main base. Wait. Let's just... Zoom in the screenshot <laughs> power. Nice. Oh, I've got actually. Okay, we've done a dungeon. This we can do another time. I know we just unlocked power. Oh, I didn't even realize it's a poke. Oh. Getting this straight. Okay. So, I know we just unlocked power, but there's a few quests I want to quickly do. Just this. Uh, okay, let's see. So, the first one is an uh, alchemy tin. Let me craft that. I think I've yeah, got it here. Should have everything. The spider eye might be the one that I struggle with. So, when I grab the Nether Wards, yeah, last year, Nether Wards, um, do I really not have spiders? Let's see, uh, Glittering Melon, that's easy enough, Melon with a bit of gold, last bar, Bottle, let's see if I have, yeah, I've got one, it's better than not using it. Chromatic steel blocks, that's fine, I need one of those. Let me check. Hi. And... No. Do I not even have... Yeah, I've got a few chests left here. No. Okay. So then we'll have to put on hold for a little bit. Let me just put these knowledge stars away. If I lose them somehow. Okay. No. Then the next one was a 
What's the fact time? I'm trying. Got one of these. Okay, yeah. Uh, easy enough to then one, two, one, two. We need a ton of you. Oh, can I only? But it's the one that take like a whole bunch of that. This is expensive. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this one is kind of a expensive. This black steel chromatic. Keep one there. Then it's just books. Which I will have here if not so if, for a means of grabbing it somewhere. Should have that tape. So if I've got a barbarian villager, then yes, I do keep them here as like hostages. Okay, I'm gonna quickly grab the other stuff and try to get a spider inside, then I'll be right back. And we're done. For now it becomes night time, of course. I do want to move these lights at some time and oh okay that that gotta move. I think I kind of want it inside. Let's see, does it it fits one of these windows? I mean if it gives us this artifact and if I was on map there. I think you do click on it, just don't know why it's not working. Yeah, but basically this is one of the challenges of the game, or the main challenge of the game is to finish that. So we've got a lot. Okay, this can be crafted from artifact things. Paradox, <laughs> these can be made Got him from treasure chest boots. <laughs> okay. So I wait, let's turn my magnets off. I wanna try something that can be kind of risky. So we have two more tracks now. Source shoes and power. And I don't feel like crafting a whole bunch of stuff from power and that. I want to see if I can... Okay. That's a level one. Okay, almost based one. What's that? Thermo generator. That is good. Another. Oh wait, no, this just needs a heat source. Right. Pulse. Yes. Now I create blazing crystal. Okay. So we've got our options. I don't know how many of these we really need. Why? Anyways, because I think it's one per energy orb frame, but could use multiple. Not there yet. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna just grab some resources and. Actually, 
because I mean, I do think it's best to build the little power plant somewhere here. So, I, so how much are the cables? power so just starter it's quite expensive then I believe there is wire uh, let me just look at power okay so fortunately I didn't get one nice energy cell Yes, in the. Okay. Because if we make two of these, then with these two, we can hook up wireless power. Then we can build a power place anywhere we want. Maybe like over there. So we have the power over there, the main base here. And then we can use the wireless power. Okay. Got my idea. I'm gonna draw a rough outline and show you guys what I'm thinking. And I decided instead of building it over here, because it was it's just so fine. I didn't want to travel to it because I'm gonna be using it a lot. I decided to build it here. So we're using these laboratory blocks which were built for the wall just in a different color with cobble vault cobble i did put a block too low so mobs could climb onto here which i didn't like so i'm just going to fill up this whole area but what i think let me just check so yeah oh you do need water for this mm -hmm. And as you see, I placed one of these down. I've got two other, and I think it's a perfect time now. I'm gonna head to the nether, and I'll show you guys how to use it. Let me head over there then. So, I've placed it down, and now you can see that it's blazing hot. And unfortunately, it does use its few points to travel it's far on like between other things dimensions are that small but it's worth worth it and speak because blazing crystals we need nine of them so if it's we need five blaze rods and we've got three at home we check because this will help, yeah, perfect, because then we just need one of these, so here, it's a magma, I'll grab that just now, let's, let's get to work on actually crafting stuff, that power. Power. Okay, so tinted glass is easy enough. This, those, okay, that I've got. Okay, I need to craft this. Let's see. So, three, four, four, oh, yeah, man. Three of those. Seven. Seven times by six. Right? Just trying to make sure I'm doing the correct thing here. Yeah. Forty-two. Okay, forty-two of those. Just want to stack. Forty-two. Right. It is. Or three of. Oh, no, not that what's it oh no more and then I've got a lot of carbon
you the whole here we are let me just add all of this together that I just there we go now we've got a whole bunch so it's quite simple it looks like just lemma and um, chromatic iron then let's see so we needed five horizontal five of these there we go and two of these okay now don't know we need one of those to craft that nice this looks to be the main thing for everything which looks to be quite important and very expensive shall i say like well not expensive just annoying to continuously craft then we need this which is tinted glass i'm sure i've got amethyst somewhere find something and we're back let's craft this up quickly oh, man why is there so much just junk how can i just find that right here oh, really missing one Okay, we need that over there. Some lava underneath. Uh, my magnets on so I can just plug the hole. So that's gonna get lava. Then over here, I'm not entirely sure. If gonna work if we can just do this because nice because it needs water and lava and it's generating 200 fe per tick okay let's see if i can yeah I'm going to quickly check something. Okay, I should have it. So, I think you just place it down with this nearby. So, I'm going to see if two works. And now that we've got some water going, let's see. Okay, so we need five perfect one, two, three, four, five, and one of those. Perfect. This is the last one. Here we go. So, this I'm not actually going to be using for the block. On about the me. Let me catch you guys up. Let me sleep. So, basically, let me show you. Oh, just there. That helps. Okay. So, power has a lot of great ways of making energy. 
and right now I'm using the thermo generator which I'll probably carry on using because it's easy but I want to make solar panels and these first few seem easy enough then we get to blazing how much what's this cost what's nitrous I'm scared to look and for it okay I think I'll get it up to this one the blue because that makes how much 40 F for me per tick huh, actually no I'm going to stick with the plan of using the, the thermo generator I'll have to fill it up for now manually until I knock what that allows me to automate it yes do I have a sink yes this one's really good ah oh, great Never mind. Yeah. So let's see. If we craft that. Yeah. Now it's going to be creating a lot more per second. Ignore. Right. Huh? Weird. Anyways, I want to see how much. Oh, let me get rid of you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see how much, how far we can get with the battery. Shift at power these energy cells. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna craft up until we have to start energizing stuff. Okay, we quickly do that. And as you can see, we have crafted up a hardened energy cell, which I think is quite good for now. It stores 10 million. Next one. Uh, energy cell. Arden. How much? I don't, I don't know. Weird. But probably a bit more. So yeah, I think this is where we're going to end it for today. Next episode will unlock the next mod. Uh, Wait, what's that? Haven't seen a few of these, so haven't seen before. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna unlock your fine storage, and that gives us a digital like interface where we can it, we can access all our items. It's it's just amazing. Then we might unlock a few more things, but yeah. There's still a lot we have to get to, and I'm looking forward to it. So, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys stick around for the next few episodes, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.